Yo, what's good so on today's video? I'm about to show you guys how to make a kick command. I already technically did this uh last year and stuff. My only reason for remaking this or making an updated version was just because like since I figured out how to split like strings into different like each word and stuff into uh different arguments and stuff, I was like might as well just remake it plus uh this one actually is way better because um you actually get to kick people and you could have an additional message. So say if you want to kick someone, then you want to include a reason and stuff. So it doesn't look like you're kicking them for no reason or you, or, uh, you just want them to generally know why they were kicked. You can, you can include a message, but anyway, let's get straight into it. All right. So, uh, for service script service, right? You want to insert a script and then name it kick scripts. And then if y'all see my other command videos, y'all already know so what I do. Delete print hello world. We're gonna make a table local allowed users is equal to sorry, not game. I'm sorry, I'm trying I'm trying to think and read at the same time anyway. Uh so allowed users and then put your username, of course. Anyone else you want to be allowed, so spice 19 for me. Then skip two lines, do game dot players dot player added, go and connect function and parentheses put PLR, but sure for the player who joined. Then do player dot chatted colon connect function parentheses put msg which is short for the message. Then simply kind of break up the message. Do local args which is short for arguments is equal to string dot split message comma quotation marks space in between the quotation marks. Then then I'm pretty much gonna break it up. So if args bracket one is equal to colon kick, right? So the first argument should be the command itself. Then I'm gonna search the uh, workspace. Wait. Oh no, sorry, sorry, not workspace. We're gonna search the uh, players. For i comma v in pairs, game dot players colon get children. Do if v dot name is equal to args bracket two, which should be the player's username. Pretty much checking if the name matches any of the player's username, any of the players that are currently in the server. Then v colon uh kick this one not out of it by the way kick and then uh what's it called now in the uh parentheses here is where you want to put the message like what you want to say like if you want your kick command to just be like a default message like you have been kicked due to violating our rules like if you just want a general message you could do something like that or instead you could do simply arg bracket three Right. The first argument would be the command. So you're saying kick the username, then the reason for the kick. Yeah, is that simple? So if I click play, and then I do kick. So okay. So first, I'll show you guys what happens if you just do just kick. So kick spy g19. Right. You were kicked from this experience, and then it say you have been kicked from the game. Right. That's the default Roblox message for when you've been kicked. So you know. Here, however, if I do uh kick spike 19 i don't know just i don't know, I don't know. It just felt like it All right you were kicked from the experience i don't know oh wait oh is it because i oh wait, wait oh i know why sorry 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 um i have put a space on my fault guys my fault so obviously you got to keep it all kind of together oh actually oh yeah you you'd honestly have to really like keep it to like one word for all like you can say like mm, kick spy g19 uh rule mm, rule two i guess yeah like rule two or if you guys want you could also include additional things like you could say like uh argument three you say argument three argument four argument five like kind of give pretty much give whoever has kick permissions like three words to pretty much explain like you could say you know, you have been kicked, uh, violating rule two. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, you just add in, you can literally just add on extra arguments so players could just, you know, add on whatever they want to say. But anyway, that's how you make a kick command. Very simple and stuff. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, leave a like and subscribe. Links to join my Roblox scoop in Discord can be found in the description. I shall for sure join up. We're at like 160 members, so we're on the way to 200. Can't wait. And y'all should be sure subscribe if the video was helpful. And yeah, I'll see you guys. Thank you for watching.